Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be using HRD, HRD Logbook, and WSJTX along with Grid Tracker. And I've got my rig control set up. I'm using the ICOM 7610. Uh, I've been using uh, HRD Logbook, and I'm not using QSO forwarding, so I, I'm going to let Grid Tracker do the logging. So under QSO forwarding, I just deselected all of this. And Grid Tracker will log right into HRD Logbook for me. I can go ahead and minimize these. Next, uh, I'm going to bring up WSJTX. And you'll see that it connects. I'm on 20 meters. Let's go over to File and Settings. I'll show you how I have it set up. This is the General tab and I have a few things selected on here. And then uh, Radio and that's Ham Radio Deluxe. I'm using CAT, the rear data that I'm using the 7610, and I've been using data packet on this for mode, and it's been working fine. Uh, on my 7300, when I when I chose data packet, when I transmitted it, it would always switch over to USB mode, and I don't want USB, I want USB D, and on my 7610, that is USB dash D1. And then, of course, for split operation, I'm using Fake It. And over on the Reporting tab, uh, I've got these selected up here. And then the only thing is the UDP server, and I've enabled all of these. I don't need this enabled for uh, what I'm doing right now. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Got a few stations coming in. And uh, look at the, the wide graph up here. I'm kind of in a clear spot. I don't know if there's any place better for me to be. But the last thing I'm going to do is open up Grid Tracker. And uh, it's going to load uh, my logbook. And you'll see uh, that it loaded my logbook up here. And also. Uh, uh, loaded some RX call, receiving calls, and DXCC up here. I can clear these if I want to, but right now uh, it's coming through. I've got some calls in here that I haven't made a contact with, and that's all I'm looking for, people I haven't made a contact with. And right here under more controls, I'll show you uh, just people calling CQ and just a call sign. Somebody that I don't have in my logbook. And then I'm going to go over here to settings. And on the general tab, you'll see uh, port 2237. That's the same one in WSJTX. And that's all you need. And then over in the logging tab, I've got grid tracker enabled up here. This is kind of a backup log. I've also got my logbook in there from HRD logbook. And all I did was go in and export it from HRD logbook and show you real quick. Go to logbook and then file and then export the ADI file. Export the ADI file, save it on your computer. And then when you get to uh, grid tracker, you can just click on add file. It'll bring up a window, select the file and uh, it will load, load all those when the program opens. And then, uh, let's see, I've got, uh, I'm, I'm uploading to QRZ, so I've got all this turned off in HRD Logbook. It's only uploading it through uh, Grid Tracker. And then down here, I've got HRD Logbook selected. And uh, the port is 7826, which is uh, already uh, started, and uh, HRD Log is listening. So uh, we're ready to go. And all I have to do is uh, click on a call and it'll start the transmission. But let me show you the alerts. I don't like the audio alerts. I mean, it's kind of nice uh, if you're looking for a, a maybe a country and it's rare and it doesn't pop up very often. Uh, then you you want uh, you might want an audio alert. 
uh, alerting you that it's there, but it gets annoying. Um, and then over here in exceptions, it's just CQ only. And then the minimum is uh, minus 24. I don't want anything, uh, anything uh, greater or less than that. Uh, anything that uh, is a weaker signal than that. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it. Go over here to call roster and uh, don't have anything. The audio alert, new one, that's turned off. And uh, then let's go over to logbook and you can enable this. I could go back maybe just a year uh, or maybe just a couple of years if I wanted to. So it would search through the, the logbook. The way I understand it is it search through my logbooks uh, just through the past year and then uh, new calls uh, from then on from July 2021 and then on. So let's see, I've got this set up and ready. I've got uh, my call roster. I really like the map in here. Got some call signs popping up, but what I'm gonna do is just go over to WSJTX and uh, let's see, there's a CQ there. Uh, I'm just gonna call CQ. I wanna show you how it logs into uh, HRD logbook. So I'll go ahead, go ahead and this is selected, I'll enable. And it started the transmission. Look again at the uh, Y graph. Yeah, I'm still pretty good. Man, this band fills up so much, it's, it's hard to find a, a free spot. And there's just not any sometimes. So I'm just doing the best I can. And let's see what we get. I'm gonna go back to WSJTX and take a look at it. If I selected a call over here in the call roster, all I'd have to do is select it once, just click on it once, not a double click, just one click and it would start the transmission. And the band's been kind of funny this morning. I'm transmitting 50 watts using the 7610 and uh, Oh, I've got three people calling me now. Uh, wow. Uh, one of them is a 7, 11, and another 7. I guess the band's pretty good right now. When I see I've got really strong signal reports, I turn the power down. There we go. And I got him, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and you'll see Grid Tracker will do the logging. There it is. Log to Grid Tracker Backup, log to HRD Logbook, QRZ.com, EQSL, and HRDLog.net. I had that audible sound, so I know that it went into HRD Logbook, so I don't even have to go over and look at it. But if you want to take a look, you can look and make sure that the mode is right and the report is right, date, time, all that. And okay, well, that'll do it for this. Uh, so I'm not using QSO forwarding on my little laptop. I'm just using grid tracker to do the logging and uh, it logs right into HRD logbook. So uh, I appreciate it. I hope you got something informative and useful from this video. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. Uh, also tell your friends and uh, 73 and good DX.